Hello, I'm Dr. Mary Frades from Brigham and Women's Hospital in Boston, Massachusetts. Today I'll be speaking to you on the aorta and its branches. What we'll cover in the next 40 minutes or so are the aorta itself, the mesenteric vessels including the celiac, SMA, and inferior mesenteric artery, a few cases involving the splenic artery, and a little bit about renal artery evaluation at the end. When we talk about aorta and its branches, the pathology that can affect the aorta and the branches is stenosis, patency of indwelling stents, vascular occlusions, aneurysms of any of the vessels, again defined as 1.5 times the normal diameter of the vessel, and vascular malformations. It's good to start with uh, a conversation about how we do abdominal Doppler. So for most studies in the abdomen, uh, when we're looking at blood flow, NPO status is desirable. We have to remember to optimize all three techniques, grayscale, color, and pulse techniques. And usually this requires using lower frequency probes for the penetration that we need and for the best Doppler uh, evaluation. So that brings you to probe choice. And as with every study in ultrasound, we always have to play penetration versus resolution against one another. And for abdominal Doppler work, we really need penetration and low frequency to get the good uh, pulse Doppler evaluation of the vessels. Remember, whenever you're using Doppler to assess velocities in vessels, angle correction is required and should be under 60 degrees. The rate limiting step in abdominal Doppler work is often patient body habitus and breath holding ability. It's kind of easy to remember that the aorta and all of its branches all have normal peak systolic velocities between 80 and 100 centimeters per second. That's kind of an easy number to remember, that 100 centimeters per second. Doesn't matter if you're talking about a renal artery or an inferior mesenteric artery. That's where you would expect the velocity to sit. Most atherosclerotic disease in these branches occurs where the branches are uh, or where the ostea are, where the vessels are arising from the aorta. And we'll look at those uh, areas with grayscale. After the grayscale evaluation, on goes the color Doppler. And with color Doppler, we're looking for focal areas of aliasing, the aliasing giving us a sign that we have a high velocity area there. Then the pulse Doppler comes on, a pulse Doppler interrogation right at the area of color aliasing to look for a peak systolic velocity. And then it's important to look at the vessel beyond the level of the stenosis and where we're using pulse Doppler and waveform analysis.